God, I'm testing out like a new foundation right now and I'm an oily mess. Oily mess. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the series, or if you haven't seen this on the blah blah blah, if you're new to my channel, or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is every Wednesday go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moods Instagram page, and I decide if I think that they're gonna go on my wishlist, or if I think they're a total washout. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Starting out with this new highlighter from Fenty. You know, I wouldn't actually be able to use it because it's so silver, but it's beautiful and it's going to charity. It would definitely be more of just like a placeholder in my collection and not like an actual item I would use. And that is a bit much, $34 for that. So I'm gonna pass on it, even though I think it's a really great product and I think that the fact that she's doing it with a charity is fantastic. This book really got my attention. I really like the sculpting powder from Kevin Aquan. I got like a little mini of the highlighter and a contour powder from him. I didn't really like the highlighter, not a huge fan, but the contour was the perfect shade. It's it's a really good contour and so I was kind of looking at the original contour book. Didn't really feel it and so I was looking at this one and I was like, oh is this it? Is this it? But, but I just bought a face palette. I bought the Ablaze Face Palette from Smashbox in my Ulta order. I also picked up the Norvina Palette from Ulta as well because I had some points so I just wanted to use those. So I have both of those on the way and because I have that one, I gotta restrain myself. I really don't need this one. But it's beautiful. This is, this is on my like, Monica you don't need this wish list, but it's, it's gonna stay on the wish list. Odds are I probably won't get it but it's beautiful and I like that it has three different like bronzing contour powders it's got that blush and it's got <clears throat> excuse me and it's got two highlighters it looks so pretty so Becca is actually coming out with a whole new line of products and they look stunning and I'm really really intrigued it's called the skin love collection so they have the skin love glow elixir which seems to be like a serum of some sort they have the weightless blur foundation which I would love to try that one out it's in 24 shades and in this picture I don't see the whole shade range but I see three of the shades and they do look like they have a pretty good range right there though I am going to result like withhold judgment until I see you know the whole range and they also have the Glow Glaze Stick. I'm probably going to pass on the stick. I think that's just a stick highlighter. Not a huge fan of cream highlighter. But that looks really pretty. I really want to try that foundation. So that foundation is going to be on my list. I really want to try a sample of it first. So the next time I'm near a store that has it, I'm going to see if I can get my hands on a sample. Well, I lied. So here's the full like shade range. It looks really good. This is what a range is supposed to look like. Even amounts of each skin tone. Thank you. I've never heard of this brand. Ray Morris. Ooh, that's, so they just have a powder, I guess. Um, I, I could be totally ignorant. I have no idea what this brand is, who runs it. But it's just a translucent powder and it's $55 for a blotting powder. What? Okay, so I gotta be honest. The packaging on this MAC thing is beautiful. The shades themselves are just meh. Like the highlighter doesn't look that great. The blush just looks really pink and that bronzer looks really orange. Like really orange. But it looks so pretty. But it's gonna be a no. Okay, so this is a sneak peek of a holiday palette from Guerlain. I don't get it with like the luxury brands. They can't really get eyeshadow palettes right. Is that just me? Is that just me? I don't I don't think I've ever seen a luxury, I'm not talking like high end, I'm talking luxury eyeshadow palette that I've been drawn to at all. Other, okay, so cut out Natasha Denona, like that's luxury, we'll, we'll put it there. Other than Natasha Denona, I have not seen a single luxury eyeshadow palette that's called to me, that's been like, oh I want that, you know? It may have more to do with like the clientele that they are aiming for and not towards like the beauty guru community, whatever is like the most exciting thing right now. 
but it's still i just feel like it's a bunch of neutral random palettes and i think this one is trying to grab someone's attention oh but it's just not working like like they get like a b for effort i think okay this is something i, I just don't get why do i want a hairspray with glitter in it I guess like for special occasions, maybe for like prom, maybe for, I don't know if you want to do that in your wedding, but um, yeah, like glitter wasn't annoying and messy enough. Let's make it super sticky. Okay, so what do you guys think of the shade range? I don't think it's the best. I think it's uneven. Like, okay, let's, let's jump back to the Becca picture. Do you see how there's like one arm for each level of like shades, right? So when I jump to this picture, there's definitely a heavy bias towards the light shades. I think an actual better range should have been one arm for each shade, kind of going back to the Becca picture. But I, I don't really appreciate what they're calling the dark shades because those aren't really that dark. I mean, I think it's an a little bit of an effort i don't know what do you guys think of the tasha dona do you think that they're as bad as beauty blender just because they don't have or even though they don't have as far as i know a controversy with this release i mean odds are i won't be picking up this foundation anyway but what do you guys think yeah like okay so another example of a boring palette if you're even remotely interested in makeup odds are you have all of this I hate that I make this face now. That's something my boyfriend always does and now I'm just in the habit of doing it and now I just do it. Anyway, boring palette is boring. First Aid Beauty, I don't know why, I haven't seen a whole lot of them around. I don't think I've ever personally tried anything from them but they're coming out with a new concealer. The shade range does not look that great. It doesn't. It's also $22, that's a lot of money for a concealer, right? gonna be a pass okay so here are some sneak peeks i'm sure we're gonna see the actual palette and everything like right after i post this video but i'm kind of interested i want to see what the eyeshadow palette kylie came up with is it's a whole 21 birthday package odds are i'm not really interested in the lip kits they have like uh, six new matte lipsticks a uh, birthday lip trio three lip kits i'm really if i'm gonna be honest i'm probably only interested in the pressed shadow palette but i don't know what the shades are so we'll see because i have some of her lipsticks and they're okay but i definitely have ones that i like or formulas that i like better hey and i think we are all caught up that's everything for this week's weekly wish list or washout let me know what you guys thought down below and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye